all right you're welcome again today we're going to talk about multiplication of matrices and under this we're going to consider two types of multiplication we're going to talk about scalar multiplication and matrix multiplication okay now let's go when we talk about scalar multiplication uh, talking about when we have a matrix and then a scalar that is a number you get it so when you have a matrix and then a number so the multiplication of a number and a matrix so you know we call that number a scalar so when you are multiplying a scalar by a matrix we call it scalar multiplication now let's take for instance you have a matrix matrix a is equal to a b c d okay you take a look at this matrix and then you also have a scalar let's say a scalar called lambda now when you have lambda multiplied by a that is to say that you have a scalar lambda and you are going to multiply the matrix A by this lambda or by this color called lambda. Okay, so that means you are going to use this lambda or this color to multiply every element. You get it? That is to say, this color is going to multiply every pivot element or the individual elements for instance when you say lambda multiplied by the matrix a this scalar is going to multiply every element of this matrix so therefore we are going to have in this matrix lambda multiplied by a is equal to lambda a lambda b lambda c and lambda d you get it yes now we have a matrix matrix a and we have three by two matrix okay so we have this a and then we have our lambda to be two and then we say two times a okay that is two multiplied by matrix a what are you going to have you are going to arrange it this way you're going to have two beside the matrix okay this way and then that means that these two is going to multiply every element okay so when you say two times three is going to give you six two times four is going to give you eight two times one is going to give you two that is the first row okay now going to the second row you can say two times one going to give you two and then two times five is going to give you ten and then two times two is going to give you four so therefore two multiplied by the matrix a is equal to we have six eight two two ten four okay yes this is about scalar multiplication that is when you have a number okay multiply by a matrix just use that number to multiply every individual element okay now let's go to the second that we say matrix multiplication now let's take a look at this simple explanation we say that suppose a and b are any two matrices then a and b are said to be conformable for multiplication if and only if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix now this is trying to tell us that it is not every two matrices that are conformable for multiplication that is to say it is not every two matrices, three or four matrices, that you can multiply. 
there is a condition required for two matrices to be conformable for multiplication. That is to say, when you have two matrices, three or four, and you are asked to multiply, the first thing you are to do is to check for a condition. And if the condition is satisfied, they can go ahead and multiply. So what is this condition? We say if the number of columns in the first is equal to the number of rows in the second. Hello. For instance, let's take a look at these two matrix. We have matrix A. We have two by three matrix here. And then we have matrix B. We have two by two matrix. Now, when you look closely to this matrix A, we see that this matrix A have two columns and three rows. Two columns and three rows. And then matrix B has two columns and two rows. That is two by two. So these two matrices are conformable for multiplication if only if the number of columns in the first is equal to the number of rows in the second. So now let's consider this. Matrix A has two columns and matrix B has two rows. That is to say that these two matrices are conformable for multiplication. If this condition is not met in any matrix that you want to multiply, please don't waste your time to multiply because you are not going to do it. Okay, now let's go. Now let's say for instance, we are given these two matrices to multiply. And then we have looked for the condition and we see that the condition is satisfied. Okay, so we have matrix A and we have matrix B. You are to find A multiplied by matrix B. Okay, now how is this going to be? Now, I want you to pay attention to one thing. In matrix multiplication, matrix A multiplied by matrix B is not equal to matrix B multiplied by matrix A. Hello. Okay, please, I want you to go and check for the properties of multiplication of matrices. Okay? Okay, we are going to talk about it in one of the lessons. Now, we have checked for the conditions and we see that these conditions are satisfied. So, how can we perform this multiplication? Please, I don't want you to be confused. Okay, now, if you want to start this operation, I want you to draw something like this. Draw something like this. You can see this matrix. We have C11, C12, C13, C21, C22, C23, C31, C32, C33. And do you know what it means? Now, let me show you what it means. We have C11, it means row 1, column 1. You get it? So the first number stands for row. The second number stands for column. Hello. Likewise, when you have matrix, when I say 3 by 2, that means this first 3 is for row. This 2 is for column. Hello, do you get what I'm saying? You have matrix 3 by 5. This 3 is for row and this 5 is for column. Is that clear? Now, let's go. So, it means that the first number is for row and the second number is for column. So we have C11, that is first row, first column. C12, first row, second column. C13, first row, third column. C21, 
second row, first column. C22, second row, second column. C23, second row, third column. C31, third row, first column. C32, third row, second column. C33, third row, third column. Now, for you to get any of these elements, yes, I'm talking about how to multiply. To get any of these elements, you have C11. It means row 1 multiplied by column 1. Hello. It means row 1 multiplied by column 1. So to get the element that will be in the position of C11, you are going to perform row 1 multiplied by column 1. To get the element in the position of C12, we are going to say row 1 multiplied by column 2. To get the element in the position of C13, we are going to say row 1 multiplied by column 3. Likewise, to get the element in the position of C21, we are going to say column 2 multiplied by row 1 column 2 multiplied by row 1 and also to get the element in the position of c22 we are going to say row 2 multiplied by column 2 to get the element in the position of c23 we're going to say row 2 multiplied by column 3 to get the element in the position of c31 we're going to say row 3 multiplied by column 1 to get the element in the position of c32 we're going to say row 3 multiplied by column 2 and then also to get the element in the position of c33 we're going to say row 3 multiply by column three all right yes let's go proper okay you know the multiplication says row multiply by column row multiply by column okay now let's go properly how can we do this we're going to have the first row multiply by the first column okay that is to get the first element in the first row so here we have 1 in the first row multiplied by 2 in the first column plus 2 in the first row multiplied by 1 in the first column. So when you say 1 times 2 plus 2 times 1, it's equal to what? 4. So we have 4. And then when you want to get the first element in the second row you are going to say the second row multiplied by the first column second row multiplied by the first column so here we're going to have in the second row we have three and minus two and then the first column we have two and one so we're going to say three multiplied by two plus minus 2 multiplied by 1 you get it then when you say 3 times 2 is equal to 6 then we have plus minus 2 times 1 so here we have 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 let's go further to get the third element in the first column third element in the first column we're going to say the third row multiplied by the first column we're going to have two times two plus minus one times one so when you say two times two is equal to four and then minus one times one is equal to minus one so four minus one is equal to three okay now let's also go to the second column second column so get the first element we're going to say the first row multiplied by the second column so we have one times minus one plus two times three 
going to give us minus 1 plus 6. We have minus 1 plus 6, which is equal to 5. Then to get the second element in the second column, to get the second element in the second column, so we're going to have the second row multiplied by the second column. So we're going to have 3 multiplied by minus 1 plus minus 2 multiplied by 3. So we have minus 3 minus 6, which is equal to minus 9. Then also, to get the last element or the third element in the second column, we'll say the third row multiplied by the second column. So we have 2 times minus 1 plus minus 1 times 3. So here we have minus 2 minus 3, which is equal to minus 5. Okay, so this is how to perform matrix multiplication.